and you may begin. Thank you. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Marcy Newman. I am the Employee Whole Health Program Manager here at the Phoenix VA. It is my role to actually help boost employee well-being and lower stress levels. I realize that you are uh, military and families, and I'm actually going to be promoting the whole health program in general. Despite my focus area of employees, I've worked a lot with veterans, and I have so much passion about the whole health program. So I'm going to be um, educating, raising awareness. If you are already aware of whole health, maybe you'll learn something new as well. So stay tuned. And there are some experiential parts to this presentation. And know that any questions, feel free to type it in the chat. I will not be stopping to answer the questions in the chat till the very end, because it would be hard for me to go back and forth. But I am so happy you are here with, uh, with me and with us. So know that I am a nurse in training since 2012. I've been an acupuncturist since 2004, had my own practice in Santa Fe, New Mexico, did everything from pain, wellness, allergies, side effects of cancer treatments, PTSD, emotional upset, um, insomnia, female conditions, male conditions, digestion, anything and everything. I'm also a yoga instructor, uh, vinyasa, and I also teach um, a form of yoga. It's called Yoga Nidra, I rest Yoga Nidra. So I'm gonna give you a sampling of that too. So here we go. So I have a video without further ado, don't cue it yet. What I'd like for you to know and pay attention, this is not a VA video, but it's a video about uh, talking about life purpose. So in the whole health realm in the VA, we talk about mission, aspiration, and purpose in life. How do you define your life? What is your best self? What does that look like? What do you use your health for? So this is your mission, aspiration, and purpose. Video, please. I think there's no sound. No sound. Uh, no sound. Well, my apologies. I'm not sure why that is. Okay. Um, let me just see something. I may be able to share with you if I have it up. One moment. One moment. Okay, so I'm gonna share this. And I think, oh, I have to share sound. Let me know if you could type in the chat if you can hear this and see it. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Do you feel like life has a purpose? I do. I think so. I'm here to make people happy and smile. Educate and entertain. To marry my woman. Being a mother to my two children. Different times in your life, 
You have different purposes. Spiritually, emotionally. Personal, professional. I think I'm still trying to figure that out, my purpose. My challenge sometimes can be figuring out which one I want to care about most today. I'm only 14, so I don't really know what my purpose is at the moment. Still looking though. I think most people equate their purpose to monetary ambitions. There's something deeper than, you know, what kind of car you drive and how nice you look. I love to inspire, motivate, and encourage people. Whenever I can to be a mentor. Being available to help someone in their journey. Because I feel like there are a lot of people in this world that are lost and don't have anyone there for them. The purpose of your life is sort of defined by your actions and by the manner in which you've lived. I'm here to help inspire other people to live life to their fullest. Like, I'm meant to be nice with everyone. Open a world to empathy. At this point in my life, I'm feeling like, who knows? And as I'm getting older, I'm definitely trying to figure out more and more. Because there are many people whose career, and how they make a living, where their passion is, and what they're good at is actually uh, their job. I feel like I have a purpose in life because I just want to keep on moving forward. Always learning, growing. I think it's just that journey and the curiosity about life. Do what you're passionate about. Don't just get caught up in that sort of, you know, hamster wheel of getting by. I really love animals. Writing, just storytelling. To share my gifts and talents with other people. Figure out how I can live to be at least 110 making people laugh and, and having fun. I believe my purpose is to have children, and I'm very excited for that. The purpose of life is to experience it. Enjoy opportunities, and also recognize that there's gonna be hills and valleys. Take advantage of being alive. Exchange as much love as you can while you're here. To live the best life you can with it as most enthusiasm as you can so that other people will benefit by your having lived. Beautiful. So I really pray that you love that video. That is actually um, something that's near and dear to my heart. It's not a VA made video, but it is a beautiful one. And I hope that brought you joy. And, and maybe you're thinking of your mission, aspiration, and purpose. Do you see my PowerPoint slide? Yes, we do. Okay, beautiful. So this is my favorite circle. Thank you so much for that. My favorite circle in the whole wide world. I'll, I'll tell you why. This is the iconic circle of health and well-being in the whole health program. So in the VA, Whole Health came about around 2011 when the epi, epi uh, I can't even uh, talk, the opioid epidemic was happening. It was in full swing, a lot of side effects and uh, veterans were really suffering um, from having um, addiction and the side effects of all of that. So the VA knew that they need to kind of transform how they provide care. So they actually recruited a physician from Duke Integrative Medicine at Duke University Hospital in North Carolina in Durham. And Dr. Tracy Gaudet was brought here because she had a whole center that had not just conventional, but it had acupuncture, chiropractic, tai chi, yoga, all ways of health and healing. So Dr. Gaudet was recruited to the VA to help transform and change how we do business. How do we care for all of you, the veterans, and also your families, right? Because you're also part of the uh, the picture. So she was recruited and there were many, many um, pilot sites and flagship sites that were actually started across the VA, one in each region. We call them VISNs. Um, so that's kind of the veteran integrated service networks. So they kind of span across the US, including Hawaii. And uh, so anyway, they created these flagship sites and they started launching changing care, introducing whole health coaching, putting the patient or the veteran in the center, in the driver's seat of care. So it was such a success that really since 2017, it has really completely changed. Now, here we are, fast forward five years later, I've been involved with three different facility whole health programs in Fresno, California, 
then in Honolulu, and now here. This is the very first time that I'm actually full-time in whole health. I was doing collateral work, so which is good, but it doesn't do whole health justice. So I realized my true passion was really full-time to work in whole health. And luckily we applied for funding here in Phoenix and we are part of a learning collaborative site and they selected uh, employee whole health because we need to take great care of you. And if we don't take good care of ourselves, we can't really take great care of you and your families. So here I am, came here, and what I've been doing is establishing a schedule of self-care for employees. So people tune in, they call in, and the reason why I'm presenting it to you, all of these principles were originally for the veterans and they still are. So I wanna just show you as I move around the circle of health and well-being. So in the middle, it is your priorities and your values. What makes you, you? What makes you tick, right? What is your mission, aspiration, and purpose like you saw in the video? Mindful awareness is all about being in that present moment, appreciating and savoring, whether you're eating lunch, having some chocolate, fruit, salad, smoothie, breakfast, whatever it is. Are you really tasting what you're eating? Are you working and eating at your desk like a lot of people do? And you're just putting it in, putting it in, putting it in, and you're still hungry, but you never really enjoyed what came into your mouth. And the digestion that really starts here with an enzyme in your mouth that's breaking it down. My mouth is watering as I'm talking about it. So basically, it's all about being in that moment, no judgment. Say you're walking your dog, you're petting your cat, you're with your kids, your grandkids. You might start having thoughts, as we call it, the monkey brain. You're thinking of, oh, I have to pay this bill. Oh, I have this doctor's appointment. But right in front of you is that loved one. Are you there or are you there thinking ahead? And often when we think ahead, we start that worry, anxiety. We think back, we're also reviewing and worried and maybe angry and frustrated about what happened in the past. We wanna take a breath in, join me, deep breath out or slow breath out. Wanna hone that in. When you work that body, it is not just for your lungs and heart and increasing your overall aerobic capacity. It is also actually promoting your happiness from a psychological standpoint. There are research and tons of information about each of these, these eight areas of self-care. So working the body could be gardening, could be swimming, walking, hiking. Here we are in Arizona, I think most of you are. So are you enjoying the Valley of the Sun? Are you stuck inside? But if you're inside, are you really beautifying your area surroundings, right? So are you creating a space where energy flows and creates success, well-being, happiness? Do you like developing yourself personally? Think of learning and learning new skills. How does that make you feel? Type that in the chat if you like. I'll read it afterwards. I love learning. I'm a lifelong learner, but it's not for everybody to get new degrees, certifications, learning to do stand-up paddleboard yoga. My head's in Hawaii, right? Or are you learning to um, do this new app that the VA is promoting, like COVID Coach, the Mindfulness Coach? There's many apps that act can actually promote self-care mindfulness, well-being. And how about food and drink? Are you thinking of your dinner right now? Or maybe your lunch, because we're almost at lunch. So food and drink is all about taking in nourishment to help decrease inflammation, decrease pain syndromes. So a lot of people are hooked on things like ginger, turmeric, all of these uh, ways of supplements, spices, herbs, 
are being recognized by the VA, but you want to make sure that they don't interact with your current Western medicine or uh, because they can, um, or if any of them are anticoagulants or they can make you bleed easier. If you're having any kind of surgery, dental surgery, deep cleaning into your gums, you may not want to be on turmeric, ginkgo biloba, which is for the brain and also breathing, ginger, uh, vitamin E, all of those can actually promote bleeding. So you want to make sure you don't have that going on. So also we promote in food and drink, when you go food shopping, you want to circle the aisles and actually be more on the outside, which is more fresh food than the inside is packaged food. Reading those labels, is it over 600 milligrams of salt every time you have soup? You may want to rethink that because that can raise your blood pressure, right? many, many things to say about food and drink. I could do a three hour talk on each one of these, but we're a little limited here. Rest and recharge, I'd like to ask, feel free to type in the chat, who wakes up feeling so refreshed, you don't need coffee, you're raring to go. Type that in the chat. So over 50% of Americans at some point in their lives or maybe their whole life, they have going to sleep insomnia or waking insomnia. This is very critical because the more sleep you have, at least seven or eight hours, the better you can think, the less pain syndromes are an issue. Because if you really reach deeper into sleep, you have more reparative sleep during those REM hours where you're blinking, you're dreaming, and all of that. There's many things you could do regarding sleep hygiene as far as, wow, I love, I see there's a lot of chat movement going on. I see a light going. Um, so you want to make sure your room is dark enough. If you're feeling light coming in, whether you're in a house or an apartment, you may want to go out and see, is it coming from your stove light, your air purifier? We started covering all these lights with a washcloth or a kitchen towel. We sleep so much better. And I know everyone's into the phone. You should set your brightness factor, whether it be Android or Apple, to after eight o'clock dimmer setting so it doesn't uh, tap out your melatonin that can affect your sleep. Okay, if you really have sleep issues and you have pain issues and you haven't talked about sleep with your provider, please do, okay? Um, and acupuncture can also help with that as well. So friends, family, coworkers, this is so critical. Having that support system and really being tuned in and feeling supported and heard. Your PAC teams are there for you at the VA. Your community providers should be there for you. If you feel you're not being heard, please talk to someone. And at the VA, we do have the patient advocate office. You can always go and be heard and, and describe, you know, hey, I'm not feeling like I'm being heard. So think of how it feels, how your heart sings when you can connect to loved ones. I know over the past year, year and a half, it's been so hard with COVID. I know you may be Zoomed out and whatever out over all of the technology, but please try to tap into it because it really does to me feel good to be tapped in in that way. Spirit and soul could be about higher power, going to church, synagogue, mosque, whatever that looks like, or that's also where mission, aspiration, and purpose is, knowing what do you want to do in your life? What do you want to connect to that really makes you feel great? And are you connecting the way you really want to? Are you doing what really makes, makes you feel happy? And what brings you joy? So think for a moment on that, on what brings you joy. Feel free to type that in the chat if you like. Power the mind that's controlling the body, 
through the mind with mind-body-spirit interventions, meditation, guided imagery, eye rest, yoga nidra, all these ways that you can actually lower blood pressure, lower heart rate, really feel your best. The blue area is prevention and treatment, conventional complementary integrative. We wanna make sure you get all the care you need at the VA or sending you to community. But knowing that, don't only look at conventional medicine because it's so much more than a pill. Not to say that's what conventional medicine is, but that's my motto on whole health is always of health and healing, right? So the community, that care in the community piece, that's actually a service line that's huge in the VA, making sure you can get to community care providers if you don't have them at your VA. So my question now is, what is your self-care? What do you do for self-care? What makes you feel great? Out of those areas of eight areas of self-care, what do you like? moving your body, promoting healthy physical, emotional surroundings, learning new skills, personal development, food and drink, rest and recharge, friends, family, coworkers, or support system, spirit and soul, power of the mind. Take a moment and write in which area is your area. Sometimes there's more than one but whole health coaches can actually help you work through this. We have a team on the veteran side of whole health here in Phoenix to help guide you with your goals. So it's really good to think about that. Also, if you're still working, what's your self-care at work? Feel free, you could write at work dash and write it in so I know it's separate from the other. I was laughed at when I actually did this presentation to nursing leadership here in VA, not in a bad way, they, were, they thought it was cute. But when I asked about what is your self-care at work, they were like, are you kidding me? We don't have self-care at work. And then I said, that's why I'm here. So it's important if you're still working that you have self-care at work, taking a break, eating away from your desk, listening to beautiful, relaxing music. When you can, take at least one 15-minute break a day. You legally have that, right? Even if there's any leadership listening to this, you all need to do that too. So we already mentioned what brings you joy and always keep in mind what brings you joy. And if you feel like you're not tapping in in that way, to please tap in always knowing your mission, aspiration, and purpose in life. So there was a VHA directive. It's still current, 2017, four years ago. There's a list one and list two. List one are actual areas that the VA is promoting and pays for, whether it be in-house or in the community. Everything from acupuncture, biofeedback, chiropractic care, guided imagery, hypnosis, massage, meditation, tai chi and qigong, and yoga. List two are optional. So you can see there's acupressure on the right because there's not as much research on the uh, ones on the right as there are on the ones on the left. All of these things are recognized, even Reiki, emotional freedom technique, which is tapping on different acupuncture acupuncture, acupressure areas so that you can release the body and help with trauma and emotional discourse. So these are good to know because if you are in pain, but it doesn't just have to be pain because acupuncture does so many other things, you can request it from your primary care team, your doc, your nurse practitioner, your nurse, Say, I've heard we can get acupuncture. I didn't know anything about that, right? Biofeedback, there are various studies that go on at various VAs, but you can get that as well. Hypnosis is a little bit trickier in the VA. We are trying to bring in that. Massage or manipulation can be 
within PT, physical therapy, chiropractic, and acupuncture, all of those fields do some kind of a manipulation. Okay. Now, one of my favorite topics, of course, acupuncture, acupressure. I'm going to show you some things and give you some skills. And I first want to give you a little bit of history and background. Don't worry, I won't spend 20 minutes on this slide. <laughs> so just know this is a Taoist tradition. You're not practicing Taoism if you receive acupuncture, it's just the roots in it. So it's over 8,000 years is the Taoist background. The yin-yang part of acupuncture, yang being the warming, motivating, sunshine, loud, more male uh, uh, force within men and women, not in a sexist way. This is what's written in the yellow book of um, the classics of internal medicine, okay? So you have that warming active and you have that cooling, nourishment, nutritive part. We look at the balance of yin and yang in all of your organ systems. What's functioning, what is in excess, one's at, what's in deficiency. We have a certain way of diagnosing, which is different than conventional medicine, but we also integrate with conventional medicine. And it's important to know when you need which, right? And uh, I don't know how you all feel, but there were stone needles actually uncovered from a grave site in the stone age. Can you picture getting acupuncture with stone needles? Interesting, right? I don't think I would want that. <laughs> the Warring States era, all of these different dynasties and eras, the medicine actually transformed. So when it went from China to Japan, to Korea, to Europe, to the US, it took on different forms. So Chinese medicine actually can have longer, thicker needles with more amplitude into the acupuncture point, dull, icky feeling coming up. Some people love that. If you like a deep tissue massage, you really want to feel it, you probably want the Chinese style. Did you know Japanese style is more gentle, thinner, very uh, even acupuncture, might be more points that are needled. You feel it less. More Westerners tend towards the Japanese style. And it was actually started by blind acupuncturists in Japan. They still have uh, schools like that. The Korean style focuses on the hand as a microsystem. So um, it also changed when it went into Europe, auricular therapy that focuses on the ear. I have a whole talk on acupuncture and I wish I could spend the whole time on it, but I'll speed up just a little bit. So we have different degrees. There's master's degrees, there's two doctorates. One is like a PhD, that's the DAOM. And I have the Doctor of Acupuncture and Chinese Medicine, it's a more clinical doctorate. So how did it go into the US or enter? Former President Nixon, we have to thank. He had an aide that had appendicitis. He had tremendous pain in his lower right abdomen. It burst, it was it could have been fatal. He had his appendix removed, tremendous pain afterwards. He received acupuncture for the pain and it worked. And uh, the former president said, how do we bring this into the US? He invited a dignitary group of Chinese medical doctors and they actually opened up the first school of Chinese medicine in New England in Boston that still exists. There are 45 states and DC with licenses, 54 plus oriental medical colleges in the US. And the master's degree is three to four years also in the summer, it's extremely intense. I would actually say it was harder than nursing school. You have to learn not to speak Chinese, but all the herb names, over 150 herbs, you have to know their names in Chinese and what weights and grams and what combines with what, very intricate. So I wanna show you some things. So I want you to feel your eyebrows, feel right in the middle. This is a point corresponding to the upper dantian or the third eye. It's for anxiety. Hold it with me for at least a minute or two. Anxiety, insomnia, frontal headache, 
nasal obstruction. They actually did a study with a functional MRI and electrical acupuncture where we clip, it looks like from the dental office, those little clips that keep your bib on, we clip it on the acupuncture point with a point called Bai Hui, which is up here. And it actually had lasting effects on the brain. You can let go. If you have redness here, you're releasing heat and energy and lowering stress. For digestion, you have REN12. So you feel where your uh, ribs kind of come apart, your xiphoid process, your belly button, right in between is REN12. Have you ever had indigestion? I think all of us have, right? Really full. You ate too much, you snacked too much, had ice cream, you can't have dairy normally, your stomach's killing you. Press on REN12, press and hold, okay? Hopefully you can get a copy of these slides. So feel your clavicle on one side. Here's your bone right here, your, kind of your collarbone. Right underneath, there's a hollow. And if you ever got a massage and it just feels so good, it's like a hurt so good, this is great for fatigue. Just press, rotate, and hold. You can even do it both sides with your thumbs. It's a great feeling. This is another thing. If you feel tired and you feel like you want to have a cup of coffee, try this point. Lung one. Yoga, changing it up a little bit. So just so you know, different types of yoga, Hatha yoga, Janana yoga, Bhakti, Raja, Karma, all of them do different things. There's more types than this. But yoga actually started with more meditation and chanting. People are not aware of that. They think it started with kind of gymnastics like crazy poses of twisting and you can't reach this and you're like this and like this it didn't start that way and it doesn't have to be that way so i wanted to kind of add that and i want you to sit back in the chair for a moment for an experiential exercise you could sit on the front of the chair too put your hands outward i want you to take a nice deep breath raising your arms inhale Look up, exhale, follow me. <sighs> Inhale up, exhale over. <sighs> Beautiful, come straight up. I want you to inhale. Exhale, reach in front of you. If you have a bad back, be careful. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, letting your arms down. <sighs> Inhale, bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Hold it, hold it. Scrunch your eyes closed. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Let it out, loud, audible. Ah, <sighs> good. Shoulders up towards your ears. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And out. <sighs> Beautiful. Bring your hands to heart center, the divine light in me honors the divine light in all of you as we say namaste. And now I'm gonna bring you to a very relaxing I rest yoga nidra mini session. I want you to close your eyes if you are able I want you to feel the surfaces underneath you. Notice any sounds around you or within you. Notice your breath. Welcome any thoughts, emotions, memories without trying to change or fix anything.
I want you to set an intention for today's practice as you set an intention I want you to think of a place your inner resource that when you go there you feel comfort and ease could be Kailua Beach in Hawaii could be the beautiful mountains or a lake, Sedona, wherever it is. Picture yourself there in this moment. Feel the sun on your face or on your upper back. Notice how your body feels as you're in this place of wonder, beauty, happiness. Know that you can come back to this space any time, day or night. Now, I'd like for you to pay attention to the body as I name the parts of your body. Nice, easy breaths as you like. Head, face, Eyes, nose, mouth, all a field of radiant sensation. Shoulders, chest, upper back, lower back, stomach. Hips, arms, legs, all a field of radiant sensation floating up in the air. No borders, no boundaries. Notice how the body is breathing itself. Notice if there's any change, warmth or coolness on your upper lip. Now, I'd like for you to recall a memory of joy, happiness. See your face or feel it smiling. Remember this time, no worries, beautiful moment, just embracing. Now, I'd like for you to feel a sense of I-ness, such as I am hungry, I am happy, I am stressed. I am angry, whatever it may be, know that you are not your body, you are not your emotions or thoughts or memories. A field of greater awareness, consciousness, Take some nice breaths, if you will, holding it, letting it out. Another breath in, think of someone you love. Pause, slower breath. 
breath out, think of at least two things you are so grateful for. I want you to blink your eyes open to open waking state. Put your hands to heart center. The divine light in me honors the divine light in all of you. Please take a photo of this slide if you will. This is if you want to find out what we're doing on the veteran side of the house, since I'm the employee side, I invite you. This is the VA in Phoenix, the main number, and there is an extension 5802. You can schedule an orientation and see what we're doing here, whether it be whole health coaching, well being classes for veterans taking charge of my life and health several weeks long and incredibly deep, profound. There's a mindfulness hiking group. So take a photo. I'll pause for a moment. And now I'm slightly early, but I'm going to stop sharing because I want to come back to the chat. Oh my gosh, I love the photos of the dogs. That's so wonderful. So let's see here. I'm watching in the chat and I hope you're doing really well, everybody. You have a lot of things that you wrote. Oh my gosh, I'm so thank you. And I'm just kind of going up. I wanna take any questions if you wanna come on the camera or you could type in the chat, and I'll look at all of this afterwards. Medication-induced fatigue. Yes, acupuncture can work for that. Yep, it doesn't matter um, what the cause is. My email address, marcy.newman at va.gov. And we look at the causes. We look at what the roots are. We treat the roots. We also treat the branches, so to speak. I'm just gonna remove my uh, jacket there. Any other questions? Oh, life coach. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yes, Paul, reach out to me and actually anyone that wants to reach out. Do we have anyone uh, that works at our VA here in Phoenix or maybe from Tucson or Prescott? Anyone on? Oh, wonderful, Sandra. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're tapped into all the employee whole health offerings. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Very good. Anyone want to come on and share what totally brings you joy? I know this is overwhelming. It's a lot of information. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. Music. I love that. Me too. Yes, we have Paul. Would you like to come on camera or uh, voice? Sure. Um, I love to help other people. I'm, I'm the life coach and I yeah. do life coaching. I do Reiki. I do yoga nidra. And it is just wow. so satisfying to, when people, when people come to me, they're typically come with a, blah, blah, and then they always leave with a smile. Beautiful. And it is just so fulfilling to be able to, to lighten yeah. somebody's day to, to get them one step better than they were. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Yeah, I could put you in touch with the veteran side of the house. Yeah, yeah love just, that. Yeah, just reach out. Thank you so much for offering. I hope you like my mini eye rest. Love it. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? 
any questions about yoga, about acupuncture, there may have been questions above. And you could feel free to come on or type in the chat right here. Wow, quick group. <laughs> Wonderful. I love that I have 65 people and I just want to see. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful, Eddie. I'm glad you have a great acupuncturist. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Chuck. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if you didn't know anything about whole health, I really do recommend that class, um, you know, that I was mentioning. Please do check into that. Yes, thank you. Oh, you have Parkinson's, yeah. Voice coach gives a lot of exercise. Wonderful, helps you breathe better. That's great, I love that. Thank you so much. Anyone get, I could tell some of the folks with the animals, it's so healing. Our dogs, our cats, uh, if you have any service animals, can anyone speak to that? It's very comforting, I, I feel. Well, I want to thank you for this opportunity and feel free if you have any questions at all. And if it's more on the veteran side, I may connect you with the proper person. But thank you for the opportunity to do this and to be with all of you this morning. Thank you, Marcy. Great job. Thank you. Thanks.